Start making money today with your coding skills. Get started on Fiverr with the first link in the description down below. Hey, what up there? Welcome to Inside Web Dev. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick review of Tailkit. This is a product that I bought a year ago. It's a Tailwind CSS UI kit, and I think it's pretty cool. And even since I used it, I really wanted to do a review on it because I really enjoyed it. And I think it's one of those products that not a lot of people are talking about, and they should because it's pretty cool. And I'm going to be comparing it to Tailwind UI which is the official Tailwind CSS UI library. I also own this one. Owning both of them, I'm going to give you my honest review and I'm going to say whatever I feel like. If it's something bad or something good, I'm going to just say it because they're not paying me to say anything. So yeah, that's going to be my honest review. There's going to be a link in the description if you want to go check it out. So let's just get started. And the first thing that I'm going to talk about, I think is going to be the pricing which is something pretty important. Tailkit has basically two tiers and then the team one. But if you're a solo developer, you're going to be either going with a developer or unlimited. Both of these have the same things. There are only two differences between developer and unlimited. The first one is going to be the amount of projects that you're allowed to use it. So for developer, it's going to be just one project. And then unlimited is going to be unlimited projects and then is going to be access to the beta 3 tailkit beta 3 and if you had unlimited or team you would be able to access tailkit version number three at this moment otherwise you'll have to wait till september and then after that everyone is going to be able to access it and that's regarding uh, tailkit and if you go to tailwind ui tailwind ui has a simpler structure it's going to be just personal or team and basically you'll have to either pay $2.99 or $7.99 and that's about it you get access to everything all the components lifetime access basically you get everything but you'll have to pay on the cheaper end $2.99 whereas tailkit is gonna be either $79 if you go for the developer version which only limits you to one project but you get access to basically everything or it's going to be $100 cheaper to you, tell when you why, and you get unlimited and you get a bunch of components. They don't have as many e-commerce components. So that's something that I'm going to be talking about in a second. But other than that, you can go check it out and see the differences. So that's going to be about the pricing, which I think is pretty important. And then after that, if you want to check it out, you can go over here, live preview. And that's going to give you the live preview for the second version. I have access to the third version. And that's going to be the one that I'm going to be comparing it. And that's going to be the latest. And they're going to be dropping this one in a couple of weeks. Previously, you had to actually download a zip file and run it on your computer. But now with this version, it's everything online as the same as Tailwind and other libraries. They do it the same. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So if we're talking about component size, they have a bunch of application components. You can see over here, you can scroll and you have a bunch of them marketing. They also have a bunch of marketing components. They are adding more e-commerce ones. So that's something that they will be adding in the following weeks and months. And let's just uh, have a look at some of them and also the UI interface. If you go inside, you're going to be able to see all the components. I'm going to go back real quick. And there's a couple of things that they haven't really fully implemented yet, which is dark mode. And then I guess that they're testing if it's responsive or not for mobile. But other than that, they have pretty much all of the things that they had on the second version. Uh, that's as far as I've been able to see. And over here, you can always do the command K and over here search. That's something that they just added and it's pretty useful. So if you want to search for checkout, you can go over here, check out and see all of these components. As a freelancer, for me, it's pretty important to be very efficient with my time and don't spend that much time on styling if I don't have to. If I can just grab one of these components and start working on a feature, that's just awesome. So they have a bunch of components for application UI and the ones that I've used most are going to be the layout ones. That's I think pretty cool. And you can always click over here and check the live preview and see how this looks. So you can see that is responsive and yeah, you have basically everything over here. Dark sidebar, you have stacked, which is going to be above. You have the sidebar, dark version, light version, we can check this out they look pretty cool and pretty neat and then we have other components like uh, alerts avatars badges uh, banners breadcrumbs that's something that i've used before then we have buttons which is uh, something pretty normal and they used to have a button generator i don't know oh they have it over here button builder um oh yeah you can change over here stuff and 
now that I'm talking about tools that they have over here, they have a color palette, which I've, I haven't really used, uh, but they also have the hero icons. So you can search them up over here. I just normally go to the hero icons website, but the fact that they have it over here, that's also pretty cool. And then they have some start kits, which they're working on and templates. I, yeah, that's also work in progress. There's something that I just saw before. So if you go over here under settings, they have this thing, which I haven't seen till when you are doing is basically you can prefer any of these technologies from what I've seen, this is not fully implemented, but the fact that they have it is pretty cool. And then uh, preview colors, you can select any of these, but something that I wish that till when you are and others had is something like this. So you can set your primary color. Let's say that my primary color in Tailwind CSS is something like, uh, I don't know, brand. So you can set over here, that's gonna be your brand color and that's gonna be used inside all of the components and that's just awesome. I'm gonna just remove it and it just saves you a lot of time basically. Uh, we've seen some application UI and let's just see some cards. I haven't really used these ones. I have used the form ones. These ones are actually new. I didn't see these. Form elements, so you can over here, you have your inputs. Layout, I think that's gonna be the most common thing. Any web app, you're gonna have to have a form. So then we have uh, form switches, which uh, are cool, but I don't know why they have so many versions. Then we have list, which I've used a couple of times, these components, and actually this one, I've used this one before. And you can click over here and see if they're responsive or not. And they should have over here, if if these components are compatible with uh, with a React version or, or something else, they should have a drop down, and you can select that. Um, you can check. Oh, they have it over here, actually. So you can see they have HTML, React, and Vue. It says auto generated. My guess is that they will add a Vue specific version because at this moment it's just a template, and then you just add the HTML. And for the React one, which is this one, is actually pretty much the same. So they're auto generating it, but my guess is that they will actually do some work and make it so that it actually makes sense. And it's not just the HTML version. Then we have models, which is something that I have used a bunch of times because it's just very useful and I wouldn't be bothered to actually do this myself. It does require some CSS and Tailwind and I just want to have stuff done. So, oh, they have over here Alpine version. And this one is not auto generated, so they are adding some of them. My guess is that there, this is still work in progress. Oh, they do have this one for the Vue version and a React version, so they are adding it. So that's actually awesome. Then we have navigation. These ones they I have used for something like the settings page. You have a sidebar inside the settings page, and you have one of these. And then we have page headings, and also for dashboard. And I'm gonna just quickly go through some of the other ones, pagination, progress bars, tabs, stats. I have used these ones for dashboards, pretty cool. And then we have a uh, sign in, sign up, password reset, which is the same thing. And then uh, if I had to remark another one would be the errors page. I really like this one. For some reason, I think that they look very, very cool. It's pretty neat. They've recently added an invoice page, which I haven't used, but it's cool that they have it. So if you have to use one of those, that's actually great. And if I go back to marketing, so you have over here some landing page components or some hero components. And these are one of the newer ones, which I think they look pretty cool. Uh, main headers. This is one of the components that <laughs> I wouldn't want to implement myself. So you have these drop downs, which actually look pretty nice. So if you can go over here, and just grab those. Let's just see if they have, oh, they do have some specific versions. It, this is not auto generated. Alpine JS, that's actually something that Tailwind UI doesn't have. I haven't seen a, an Alpine version. The only thing that I've seen is React and Vue. And then page headers, we have one of these, footers and about blogs. And something that I'm gonna be actually remarking right now. So if I go inside a component over here, Tailwind UI provides you uh, with an interface that allows you basically to see all of the components and you don't have to go through like the entire section. And basically you can go through all of these components and whatever you like, you just copy it. Whereas over here, 
you actually have to go inside of each of these. And let's say that I selected this one, full width, and I want to select another one, I have to go back and then select the other one. And I know it seems like a very small thing, but it makes a difference for me. When I'm looking for a component, I just don't wanna be going back and going forward. This is the flow that I would have to use. And I wish they had uh, this as a list, the same way Tailwind UI has it. So it's just like very simple, you just have over here and then you, you can just copy them. Whereas over here, you have to actually go inside of each of these and then you can copy them. So blog posts, uh, this is another component that it's not very hard to do, but is the fact that you already have it. Because the thing is that it's going to rely on the pros. I think that's how it's pronounced. So you have this thing uh, inside Tailwind CSS, which is going to allow you to basically format all of this. So it looks good. Uh, then we have comments. That's another one that I've used. Uh, actually, this one, I think. Yeah, it looks pretty nice for a comment section. Uh, then contact CTAs, that's, all, that's also another very important one. I really like this one. I think it looks pretty nice. And then uh, there was another uh, frequent asked questions. I think they had a drop down version. Oh, they don't. I think they used to have it. Maybe they haven't introduced it in the version number three. Uh, features, that's another one. I have used, I think, uh, this one. Uh, pretty neat. You can see that it's fully responsive and logos. And pricing, that's one of the most important ones in any SaaS app. And I really like this one. So if you have something that it's just going to be one time payment, uh, you will be using something like this. And I'm actually going to show you the example over here. Inside Tailwind UI, they also have this component, which is this one. If you can see, it's pretty much the same, but also not <laughs> at the same time. They look similar, but also they're different. So for me, it's pretty clear that they're competing against Tailwind UI and they have a bunch of their components redesigned in their own like way. And I'm not saying that they're copying it. So then we have over here newsletter. That's another one that I've used, which is, uh, where is it? This one, this one, pretty neat. And then team, I haven't really used this one. Testimonials, I haven't really used these ones, but they, uh, they also look very nice. Actually, this one looks very clean. Then we have some pages, which are just components, a bunch of components already added so that you can just copy the entire thing and have a fully functional page features and the pricing, which is, I think, one of the most important parts of any app. It's going to be pricing and checkout, which uh, Tailkit provides. So I'm going to go to checkout. Uh, command key is not working for some reason. Checkout. And these are components that for me are very important. It's going to depend on this page whether someone buys something from your page or not so if you screw it up and you don't have a very neat design and something that brings confidence people they're not gonna buy your stuff right so for me these are very straightforward and this one actually i think is just a stripe one so i think it's awesome because stripe is a very big company and they know what they're doing and if this works for them there has to be a reason right so then a uh, product list so we just went to the e-commerce version and over here i have to say that they didn't have as many components for the e-commerce i hope that they're adding actually these ones are new yeah this one oh this one actually looks very cool i, I could see myself like using one of these because it's yeah it's, it's pretty nice and also it's going to be fully responsive right yep and you can change the colors something that i haven't really shown but you can change any of these colors and i assume if i were to add a custom color I would have the option over here and then I would be able to just copy it, which is awesome. And I think that's going to be about it in terms of components. Also mentioned, this is a very small team. Pixel Cave, as far as I know, there it's two, two developers, I think, or one developer and one designer. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So yeah, you will also be supporting small creators and uh, they have a bunch of experience with uh, with designs and uh, templates. I haven't really used other of their products, I have to be honest with you, but uh, this one, Tailkit, uh, I used it and I really liked it and that's why I'm doing a review on it. So if I had to pick one of my favorite components, there would be the checkout ones, I think those are very important. Then we have pricing, uh, the pricing sections, which I haven't really shown and I wanna show these ones. I think this one is pretty neat. And also this one, I think, yeah, this one also pretty straightforward. You have a three tier pricing structure 
and then also this one if you want to have a more detailed version which i think it's it's similar to they don't have it over here oh yeah they, you do have it so over here comparison and that's pretty much i think this one or it's pretty similar so yeah those are gonna be actually my favorite sections and also the hero ones uh, that's gonna be also a very i've used this one this one and then the other one something that i haven't seen neither tailwind UI or Tailkit is have a version that's fully compatible with light version and also dark version. So they will have a dark version over here and then they will have a light version, but they won't have one that supports both of them. So if you go inside and over here, I try to search dark, I won't find any mention of it because it's just like straight up using those colors. And if I go over here, they won't have it either. So if I go over here, and I search dark, they don't even have it. And that's something that I haven't seen Tailkit or Tailwind UI and none of the other ones that I've used have. And it's just a pain in the ass because as a developer, I want to save time. And the last thing that I want to do is merge these two ones into one to have one version that's compatible with both of them. I'm using these libraries to save me time and I wouldn't do it. And basically I end up not doing it because of that, but it would be great for them to have a version that's compatible with both of them because it, I don't think it would take a lot of time. It's just adding dark and then whatever tag there is inside this version. And I think that's about it. And yeah, this is Tailkit. Uh, you can go check it out. There's gonna be a link in the description. Uh, pricing wise, I think it's pretty cool. It's not very expensive, but also at the same time, I think it's a free price if you wanna go with the unlimited version. Uh, as I said, and the only difference is going to be access to the, the beta. So eventually you will also, if you end up choosing the developer version, you will also have access to the third version, but it's going to be later. But all of them, they're going to get access. And then the only difference is going to be the amount of projects. So if you don't have that much money to spend, uh, you can go and grab uh, the 79 version and you're going to get basically everything. That's, <laughs> that's a great thing. And basically over here, if you see, they have lifetime free updates. So whatever they end up adding, you're gonna get. And regarding updates, uh, in a year, they've been adding a new update pretty much every month. There have been some months where they didn't add or they didn't release a new update. But overall, I've been getting like an update a month, which I'm fine with it. I think that's about it. Tailkit, you can go check it out. This is my honest review. Would I recommend this? And do you think that this is a Tailwind UI competitor? I do think it's a pretty cool project. They don't have as many components and templates as something like Tailwind UI, but Tailwind UI also at the same time, it's uh, a little bit more expensive. So it's gonna be $2.99 and you're gonna get access to everything. Whereas Tailkit is, you can go with a cheaper version, which is this $1.79 or $1.99, which is still $100 cheaper than something like Tailwind UI. So yeah, make of that what you will. And yeah, let me know uh, what you thought about the review. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I think that's about it. And see you in the next one. Bye.